Thank you. Uh, Frost, any reason why these flights that evacuate civilians are not made free? Because I'm sure taxpayers money yeah, would a, be happy to uh, there's a, there's, evacuate there, people on civilians. There's, there's a very good reason. We're prohibited by U.S. law from making them free. So if, if the, I, I, have, I have heard that complaint that we should make them available for free, and I would encourage any American who believes that to contact their congressman and ask to change the law because we are prohibited by law from making them free. Now, that said, the most that anyone will pay is $283, and I understand that's still a lot. Of, that I, 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 know, I understand that that's, that's, that's still a lot of money that some people have, but we will make a loan. We will provide a loan to them so they can go out on that, on that, fl on that, uh, that flight. And if you want us to provide free flights, we need to change in the law, which is not allowed to fundamentally. Right. Hopefully it will change. Um, yesterday I asked you about the six uh, first responders who were killed. Today the total number is 97 of people who are trying to, be, to help others have been killed. So do you believe that Israel is taking every precaution to avoid people like first responders, doctors, uh, people on the front line who are trying to help people who are wounded or evacuated? I cannot give you an assessment of the strikes they have conducted over the past few days. I can tell you that that is the type of thing that requires us to take a um, very detailed look at the facts and the law and the circumstances. I can tell you when after a considered period of time in the conflict in Gaza, we looked at the number of civilian casualties, including first responders, including aid providers, including humanitarian workers. We did find that it was reasonable to assess that Israel had in certain incidences violated international humanitarian law. But it takes time to look at the, at the, the collection of incidents to t come to an overall judgment of that nature, let alone a specific judgment on any one strike. Okay, the uh, health minister said today that um, Israel accusing Lebanon of hiding rockets in hospital is pure propaganda. Does the U.S. assess that actually there are rockets or no rockets in hospitals in Lebanon? I don't have any. We heard in, in Gaza. Sorry, I don't have any assessment to provide as it relates to um, uh, the presence of rockets in hospitals. Into it because uh, so, so that potentially requires me to offer you an intelligence assessment. Even if I look into it, it doesn't mean I can come to here and speak to it from the podium. Uh, I may be able to, may not be able to, but I'm not going to promise I'm going to be able to offer okay. an assessment from here. Sure, because they give us assessment to other things. One following question, so I give others the question, to, uh, the chance to ask. Um, there was a clip that has been circulating on the social media that your former colleague Ben Rhodes has retweeted, and that's of Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu testifying in Congress 22 years ago, saying basically, and I, I'm sure you saw it or maybe you'll see it, if we get rid of Saddam Hussein, everything, the whole Middle East will be great, and we know how the Middle East turned out to be. So do you see, do you see a scenario now where Netanyahu is saying if we just got rid of Hezbollah and Hamas, the whole Middle East will be great? Do you see similarities between... So I'm, I'm just so I'm just not going to comment. I'm not going to comment on something that, that the prime minister said years and years ago. There's an obvious hold on, just, there's just 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 let me finish. There's an obvious difference between targeting a terrorist organization and targeting a state. Uh, I'll say that uh, they do. We do believe they have the right to target a terrorist organization that has been attacking civilians in this side of Israel.